All right. So today we're diverging from our usual path. In this box, I do not have a ThinkPad. I have a Dell Latitude E6400, and that's thanks to my friend who is standing right behind the camera, and uh, who also refuses to come on camera, unfortunately. Say something again, even because this is our second take. We messed up the first take. So I bought this for an upcoming video. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a laptop for school for under 100 bucks, and I thought it'd be fun to take a look at something other than a ThinkPad, because lately uh, the channel's been focusing around older ThinkPads, and I want to focus on something else, because the Dell Latitude line, especially the older Dell Latitudes, are solid business laptops just as the ThinkPads are, and according to my friend, they look better than ThinkPads, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree too. In the uh, eBay listing, uh, this Dell Latitude E6400 did look a little bit better than the typical ThinkPad design. Uh, really, that's just subjective. But, and I'll let you guys decide after we get this thing open. So, some of you might notice that there are applesauce, um, applesauce tops? Applesauce tops on the sides of this box. And you guys might also notice, uh, for those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time, that there was a previous video where I got a box which also had applesauce tops all over it. And that's because I bought this from the same seller as I did in that video. I think in that video, um, I bought the ThinkPad T60 maybe. And I decided to uh, go to that seller again because they are a very good seller. If you want to check out the seller where I bought this laptop from, did I say how much I bought this for yet in this take? I did? Well, just to reiterate, bought this thing for 25 bucks plus shipping. So come over here. Let's see what we got in the box. Lots and lots of packing peanuts. Ooh, that did not sound good. Dropped it on one of the uh, bubbles. And I got packing peanuts all over the table and all over this wrap as well. So let's see if we can open this thing up. I might have to grab my knife. They did a very good job at packing this, wow. They put a lot of packing material on this laptop. So I finally managed to get the laptop out of the plastic wrap. Yes, there is another person here. I am not crazy. I was not talking to a ghost. Uh, we both checked the laptop out and we are both impressed with the condition that it is in. So as you can see, there is some sticker residue on the laptop's lid, but besides that, it's pretty much spotless. I'm gonna grab some uh, pledge and you know wipe that off. It's gonna look pretty much good as new. Uh, there's no major scratches or dents on the case. And actually, if you want to go ahead and pick that up for me, so I don't have to deal with that, and I can actually make sure the camera's in focus. All right, as you can see on the back, it's dent-free on the other side, dent-free as well, and on the bottom, it looks great. Now, even better, let's open this up, because it looks beautiful inside. There we go. Check this out. There is absolutely... Zero wear on this keyboard. You would say that, right? Yeah. Pretty much zero wear on this keyboard. The screen is clean. Uh, not sure if everything is free of defects yet because I haven't had the time to turn it on. Uh, we will do that in just a second. Trackpad, buttons, everything looks pristine. This laptop looks beautiful. Very happy with this purchase. The seller came through last time and he came through again. So this is a very, very nice Dell Latitude E6400. I've been testing this machine for a little bit and I gotta say, it is definitely on the sluggish side. Now I knew that going in, I bought this to upgrade it. So after we throw a new CPU in this, four gigabytes of DDR2 RAM and a solid state drive, this thing is going to fly, but in its current configuration, it is definitely on the sluggish side. At the moment, there is an issue with the battery. The battery does appear to be dead. That's not really that big of a deal because I plan to replace the battery anyway, but just something to note. So here is our system information inside this computer. We have one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, and that is contributing uh, to this uh, computer's very, very sluggish user experience. Uh, we have a Core 2 Duo P8700 running at 2.53 gigahertz. I uh, currently have a 120 gigabyte solid state drive installed just for testing. That is the Adata SU700. And then for our graphics, we have Intel Integrated Graphics, uh, GM45. 
with a 1280 by 800 display and this is a 14 inch display. So let's get out of here and boot up into Lubuntu. Yes, I am using Lubuntu just to make things quick and easy. Didn't feel like installing Windows on this machine. Uh, during the actual upgrade video, I might, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing this, uh, but I might actually take the effort to uh, download Windows and install it and buy a license key for it. Um, but for now, we're using Linux, which is fine. You know, Linux is fine for demonstration purposes. A lot of people complain about Linux. Uh, whenever I use Linux for these demos. And I never really understood why. I mean, it's open source. It's really easy to get your hands on. Uh, there's a ton of options out there, a ton of distros. It's used a ton in research and the enterprise space. I mean, I use it all the time for my uh, natural language processing stuff. Uh, I see my, my colleagues using it all the time for machine learning, for image processing, for image recognition. Um, and a lot of people don't like Linux, especially uh, those that watch my videos. I get a lot of complaints about it, and I'm not really sure why. I think these people just don't understand how much Linux is really used in the real world. Um, and that's an issue, because Linux is used a lot. I mean, maybe you're not using Linux for your specific workflow, but yes, Linux does have a purpose, especially uh, in the research space and the enterprise space. So that's my little uh, Linux rant right now. Uh, we are in the system and I'm going to show you how slow this is. Now as far as system programs are concerned, for the basic stuff, I mean it can open up uh, you know, basic programs within a matter of seconds. As you can see, the file manager popped right open. If we go to open up an office application like A by Word, it's really not too bad. It is bearable, but when we get to uh, web browsing, you will see what I mean when I say that this computer is definitely on the sluggish side and it is capable of multitasking even with that uh, one gigabyte of RAM installed. Let's see, what else can we open? Let's open up a terminal. Uh, I'll pop open, uh, there's not really much here. This is a pretty, oh, I did not mean to click that. Uh, this is a pretty light Linux distribution. That's why it's called Ubuntu. It's lightweight Ubuntu. And what else? I can open up a calculator. As you can see, the system programs open up pretty quick and I'll pop open a task manager. So there we go, that's our little multitasking demonstration. Can't do too much because we are limited uh, by that. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, check that out, wow. <laughs> we are limited by that one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, but after the upgrades, I'm gonna throw four gigabytes of DDR2 into this bad boy. And once again, it's gonna be perfectly fine with multitasking. So there we go, I clicked on Firefox. As you can see, this is where things start to get a little bit painful, that took Quite a long time to open up Firefox. I'm gonna open up a new tab. I bookmarked some pages just for testing. Actually, you can see all the pages I bookmarked right here. So first off, I'm gonna to go to YouTube and it should take us right to one of my videos, maybe? Maybe not. I thought I bookmarked one of my videos, but maybe I didn't. Come on. You can do it, I believe in you. As you guys can see, this is what I mean when I say, yes, this computer is a little bit on the slow side for sure. Not really. Well, actually, some people would be fine with this. Um, you know, it does eventually get the job done. It will eventually load up YouTube, and it will be usable, uh, responsive. Um, but you know, a lot of people aren't going to accept this, and that's where the upgrades come in. There we go. I finally managed to get to one of the pages of my video. So this was something I made uh, two weeks ago, I think. I'm going to open this up in full screen, and I'm going to warn you guys: this is going to be a little bit painful. Uh, doesn't play back video too well especially HD video. And sound does work. So that's 480p video playback and actually it's doing better than it was beforehand. When I first tried to play back 480p video, it did lock up a couple times. So that's why I was kind of skeptical, uh, skeptical um, when I started that demo. Let's try 720p though. And as you can see, it has locked up while trying to play back 720p video at 60 FPS. So after, once again, I'm gonna say again, hopefully after the upgrades, and this can take up to a uh, P9900, I believe, which is a uh, dual core processor running at 3.06 gigahertz, uh, six megabytes of cache on board. Uh, that's a, that should give us a little performance boost, and we should be able to play back those HD videos without any issue. Uh, let's go to my website. Actually, I'll try to open up a couple different sites at the same time. We'll uh, put this under a little bit of stress. 
you couldn't tell I had to cut there because the camera ran out of uh, memory, unfortunately. But I have my site finally loaded up now, and even after it's fully loaded, uh, scrolling is a bit jerky. So, yeah, definitely not a great web browsing machine. I think you guys can, uh, you guys can definitely see that by now. We'll go to the Associated Press sites. Yeah, once again, same story. Just having trouble loading some of the stuff up. And to really drag the system down. We're going to go to CNN.com. And you guys know that I love testing using CNN.com because it's full of garbage, a bunch of scripts, and everything else. Pretty hefty site uh, to load up in a web browser. And this machine is just going to choke on it. Yep. We lost it. You guys might not think I'm going to be able to do much with this, but trust me. I'm telling you guys, a couple videos from now when we upgrade this, it's going to be a completely different machine pretty much. And for under 100 bucks, including the cost of the laptop. Alright, so we're finally kind of there. I mean, I'm trying to scroll through the site. And yeah, as you can see, it's, it's a bit jumpy. So that's going to be about it for this demo. Um, there will be another demonstration after I upgrade this machine a couple videos from now. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you didn't like this video. Please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Overall, I am happy with this purchase. I mean, I knew the laptop was going to be a little bit sluggish. Uh, and after some upgrades and about, you know, uh, 70 bucks, this thing is going to be a completely usable school machine. Um, it arrived in great condition, everything looks great, very happy with the purchase, very happy with the seller, and for the most part, everything went well. Once again, a bit sluggish, but that was expected. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon, the Patreon link, and the affiliate links will be down in the description. Once again, if you want to check out the seller to this laptop, the seller's uh, store will be linked in the description as well. Uh, HD images, I always forget to mention this, but I do put HD images of these machines up on my archive site and that link will be down when I have those images up. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.